When my ex left the marriage, he sent a text message. And by the time I got home, his belongings had all been boxed up. His car was gone. And he refused to answer any phone calls or text messages. In the most clear sense, it was marital abandonment. Yet every single day, people are abandoning their marriages in not so clear ways. They're still physically present in the home, yet they're not present in their relationships. Here are four ways that people abandon their marriages every day. The first of these is physical abandonment. And this can be through lack of touch, lack of affection. It can be as simple as when you bid for affection from your partner, they turn away. This can also be a sexual abandonment where one person wants more connection in the bedroom and the other one is constantly turning down or withdrawing. And these abandonments are, are painful. We have evolved to need touch. Touch is one of those ways that we receive love. It's one of those ways that we feel seen. We feel accepted. We feel safe. And so when that physical touch isn't there, we feel invisible. Other times there's attentional abandonment. And this is very common after the birth of a child when all of one partner's energy and attention goes towards the kid and not towards their spouse. Sometimes it happens with work or caring for an elderly parent or sometimes with hobbies. And it's natural for attention towards these external things to ebb and flow. Of course, you are going to have interests outside of the marriage. And there's times when you have to put all of your focus on your child or on your work. But when your partner is turned away from the marriage for far too long, when their energy is always going elsewhere, you feel alone, even when they're sitting right next to you on the sofa. There's also emotional abandonment. One of the easiest ways to identify this is when you're being vulnerable, when you're opening up about something that is difficult for you or something that you're excited about. And instead of receiving whatever it is you're expressing, instead they're dismissive or they withdraw or they simply ignore. And so you're left feeling confused, you know, here you are open and they just brushed you aside. And then finally, there is spiritual abandonment. And this can be as clear cut as a major change in your partner's religious beliefs since the beginning of the relationship. Because that can leave you feeling very alienated when your beliefs no longer align. But it also can be when they've abandoned those core values that you both shared, that originally brought you together. And so you're left feeling like you're on that journey alone and that they no longer share in that vision. Now, it's important to acknowledge that everybody has the right to grow and to change, even when that growth and change is difficult, uncomfortable, are ultimately destructive to the marriage. However, when that growth and change is done abruptly and without discussion, that's when it feels like abandonment. A key feature of a healthy relationship is that each partner is continuously communicating with the other about what they want and what they need. So that even when it's difficult, nobody ever has to feel abandoned. 